good evening friends uh, it, it's been quite some time I have not been able to find time to post some uh, articles uh, over uh, YouTube so basically I am back with uh, a very simple yet a very important uh, feature or uh, uh, that is the import export wizard I mean in SQL Server most of the people uh, often often uh, dump data to and fro from one uh, database to another I mean, uh, tables from one database to another so a, a import export wizard is, is, is a very important and a very easy way to do such and do such things uh, in SQL Server so it's although very basic Im information that I, I will be trying to convey but for people who have not used or, or are not uh, aware of uh, the entire functionality of import export wizard this article is definitely going to be of some help so here in this article what we will be uh, trying to go uh, will we will try to go through is uh, what an import export wizard is and how uh, we can push or pull data to and fro from one database to another so what i have here is two instances of sql server started on my machine and uh, on the first uh, or the default instance let me just create quickly create a table uh, which is having an identity column and a, a name it's a fictitious table uh, and, I, and I'm calling it export tab and I'm just inserting two records into this table and uh, let me start uh, by pushing so so this has been created into the dev database of my uh, default instance that is this and I'll be trying to export uh, data from this instance of the dev database into uh, as a sample DB of the second instance of SQL Server that I have here uh, with the demo so so uh, first and foremost uh, just click on the database right click on the database and, and go on to task you will find the import data and export data tasks so uh, you can use either of them if you are trying to push data it should be actually um, the export data task and, 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 and if you are trying to pull data it is the import data as the name uh, implies so let me try to push data first I uh, am trying to push it from dev to uh, to my uh, to sample DB so I, I say export data and uh, what this uh, starts you is, is actually uh, in a nutshell what you would be uh, getting is a wizard and this wizard is nothing but a part of integration services if people are aware of SSIS this is nothing this is nothing but uh, uh, SSIS package uh, which is having a data flow task it's it's nothing more than this so it, it is it is the one import export wizard is actually an SSIS package with a data flow task where you have a data source data destination and the mappings in the most simplest way so remember that so here you will see the server name so this is the source from where you are trying to push remember so we are trying to push it from the default instance and the database name that you would uh, want to uh, push it from so it's it's there for us so we click on next and uh, go on to the destination so our destination is the second instance of uh, of my uh, machine uh, that has been installed in the machine and the and the sample db so uh, click on next and then you will come on to the copy data where you, you will be given the choice to either write query or you can directly you uh, copy the complete uh, table so if you if you are trying to selectively uh, copy some of the records from one table to another you can you can use the second option or you could uh, when you are trying to uh, completely push the data from the source table to the destination you can use the complete copy data from one tables of use and then click on next what you will uh, what this uh, page will do is is it will pull out all the objects uh, table views everything which is there in in the dev database of our source from where we are trying to push so uh, from here you can uh, you can see the export tab is there you can select the table you are trying to push select it and here it is actually going uh, the table is not already existing so if you see the icon it will be different it is going to create a new table you can uh, uh, mention a different name altogether if you want you can type it to uh, export sec 
I'm just calling it it's a fictitious name and uh, and it will create uh, the table so uh, and here is uh, you can use the edit mapping tab where you'll see the important things here is it will create the destination table and and this these are the <coughs> uh, the column data types I mean the column uh, schema if you will so this uh, this is uh, being displayed and uh, and it's going to uh, you can say drop and recreate if, if the table was already exist existing but since the uh, table is not existing it's going to create a new table so that's it and uh, additionally you can you can edit this uh, SQL that you have you can you can do it at your will so so you can edit the SQL and then next And see, as I said, this is going. To, this is nothing but a very simple SSIS package. So here, uh, it's it's run immediately uh, as has been checked. But you can also save this SSIS package if you want for future use. You can check this, and and then uh, face save it in a SQL Server or file system wherever you want. So uh, this is this is going to be a reusable package for you if you want to reuse it in in some time future. So uh, presently, I'll just uncheck it and, and say next, and then finish it. Right now, let's go ahead and, and uh, check uh, what is what has been pushed into my sample database. Sorry, export sec was the name, right. As you see, the data has been pushed from uh, from one database, uh, from our source to the destination uh, database, and the table has been created, and then the da uh, data has been pushed. So this is the most simplest form of the import export wizard. In the next demonstration, uh, I'll be showing uh, how this ex import export wizard is is uh, help uh, helpful while and and how you should be actually pushing data when you have some identity columns involved. And, and the table is already existing here the table was not existing so the uh, so the uh, SSIS package actually created the table at, at the runtime and then it pushed the data so there were two steps involved but what if the table is already there existing and you are trying to push the data from source to destination uh, in that scenario and also when uh, and also added to that there is a constraint that there is some amount of uh, I mean there is some column with identity and you want to keep the identity data uh, I mean as per the source so in such scenario how you should be actually handling your import export wizard uh, so this was the part one uh, let me just shoot the next part for you thank you so much friends